Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to automate patch changes in whatever Line 6 Helix unit you might be using. And today I'll be doing this in PreSonus Studio One. So as you can see here, I've already started a new song and the first thing we need to do is get PreSonus Studio One to send mini messages to our Line 6 Helix unit. I'm using an HX Stomp today. And the first thing we need to do is go to Options up here Go to external devices tab, click add, then click new instruments, and we're gonna name our device. I'm gonna name mine HX Stomp. And we're gonna make sure it says send to line six helix. And click OK. Next thing we need to do is make a brand new track, make sure it's an instrument track. Click OK. Then we're gonna go over to the inspector tool here, click on that. We wanna to go to out, click HX stomp. And we'll see that this program and bank slash program came up. We're gonna go ahead and select that. We're gonna right click here to show and hide automation. And then we're gonna add remove. And we're gonna add a program change. And now I'm gonna pull up HX Edit right here. So right now we're on my rhythm patch and we're gonna click right there, move that up a couple. And we can see I'm on a totally new preset now. So I believe this right here is number seven. right there. And so I'm going to automate it to go to my lead patch now, which is number eight. Right like that. I'm going to put that over to that window. I have this here. I'm going to go ahead and play this. You can see the changes happen. And that's how it's done. This is particularly useful if you're in a band that uses a backing track or a click track. You can just have your uh, unit plugged into your doll on a computer and set the patch changes that just automatically change while you're playing your show. That way you can just focus on playing. Uh, I'll be making another video about this with using Logic too. Hope you guys liked it. Bye.